Good morning. It's Saturday or Sunday, May 18th, 2024. I'm up at Duck Pond up in Schoharie County again, Burt Rossman. Haven't been up here in a year. Um, I camped down at Betty Brook uh, last summer in Ju late, uh, early July. But I haven't been up here at uh, Duck Pond since I put a hole in the tire uh, last year for that nail. They, they fixed it. It was only 30 bucks. It was annoying though. This time I was trying to be very careful and I backed in the campsite to check for any nails. But you know, you never know. Try to stay out of some of these holes that are in the ground. Or I'm sure people have filled them with ash and whatever else people have burnt. But uh, yeah, I was doing some mountain biking yesterday. The railer got knocked a little bit out of adjustment and I forgot to bring a hex key. But I was able to adjust enough with a screwdriver that it works fine. Um, but uh, yeah, I rode about, I don't know, not about, only about 10 miles, but it was kind of hot, humid, and gray yesterday, and I had some work stuff I had to take care of. Uh, I don't have great cell service here, but so I had to kind of bike up to the top of the mountain. Had a uh, target I had to run for work, but uh, yeah, I got that done. I needed my laptop, I didn't bring that, but that's how I'll do most of the stuff I need to do on my phone, and I'll finish it up Monday morning. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's black fly season. They haven't really come out so much yet this morning. It's a few of them flying around because, um, you know, it hasn't warmed up. Usually right after 8 o'clock when the black flies really come out. Had some eggs this morning for breakfast, just starting to clean things up. Want to take things down and be on the road by about 9, get down to Stamford around 10. Then I want to ride from 10 till, I don't know, maybe 6 or so. You know, do, do as much of the Casco Scenic Trail as possible. Maybe get some ice cream at the end of the day, and you know, just kind of a relaxed day, and then head home. Monday, I do the laundry. Tuesday, I'm thinking about picking up a new cell phone because my phone has been really annoying. I'm not gonna get a fancy one, but just something that has a working touch screen. But yeah, camp's about the same. The truck camper's the same. Really, not much has changed since I was up here a year ago. Actually, a year and two and a week ago. Oh, now the black flies are really out. Probably because I'm standing still while I do this video. But uh, yeah, it's been great. It's good to get back here. Um, commute on the drive out here on Friday was a bitch. It was uh, just a lot of traffic on the throughway and then a couple, you know, down broken down cars. So there was like you know the move over shit, and then. Uh, I and mean, I made great time. I was out here by six, I don't know, six twenty-five or so, and uh, well, I, I took one forty-five from eighty-eight down over to here, which is a lot quicker because you avoid Middleburg and Schoharie. And then now that I have that new suburban office I work in up in Menans. You know, I have all that parking, so you you know you park right next to the building or just a short walk from the building. You hit the road right away, and I'm not far from the throughway exit, which is great for getting out of town. I mean, I think that's part of the reason why I'm also thinking about building that off-grid cabin, but I don't know, the commute thing, that really is, is getting at me, and I just don't know about New York. Still thinking about it, still, still doing what, reading a lot of books about cabins and building sustainable houses and stuff, and uh, still looking at land, still doing my research. Um, you know, I, I paid my uh, increased rent for this month. And I mean, it looks like for now, at least my it's still going to be month to month, so I have, you know, a lot of flexibility. It seems like the new landlord has left me alone for the most part. He hasn't really been a problem. He's happy. He's getting his, his checks mailed to him. Um, but, yeah, uh, you know, I, st I still really enjoy traveling, and, you know, I'm not quite ready to give it up. That's part of it. Um, you know, if I have, have that, you know, that house and we have land I'm going to spend my time working on the land fixing up the house and building shit and, and I'm not ready for that I mean maybe I should be I'm in my 40s but I'm not I want to travel some more and uh, you know someday you know, it's, I will I mean I'm still putting away a lot of money you know I'm saving whatever I can building up those assets I want to you know, things I wait longer, I'll have more money saved up. I can build even a nicer place or have more money and secure. I mean, maybe I look at the 50, go back to the idea of retiring at 55 from the state if, you know, making decent money. And I mean, while well, I won't get a wonderful pension, I'll get a decent one. And I have that money saved up. And then there are other jobs, I'm sure there are things you can do in, in rural areas. Even if it's just something like, you know, working with disabled people or at a grocery store or something just to... You know, pay the bills and cover the health insurance. I mean, if 
I built the house of cash and uh, it's a state where the taxes are low. I mean, you don't need a lot if you're, you know, very independent. I mean, I'm not gonna be someone that's gonna ever, ever have cable TV or trash pickup or uh, you know, electricity or anything like that, you know, so. Or, you know, all those subscription services kids have that I've never had or the fancy cell phones. But uh, yeah, it's a nice, nice day though. I'm, I hope the sun comes back out. Yesterday it was cloudy and very humid, and the black flies were bad, like the hour started to become now. And now it's eight, almost eight o'clock. But I mean, I love it up here. It's it's close to home, but it's still, you know, it's still an hour fifteen minutes drive from home. But you know, there's the in the summer there's the the free um, mine kill pool, the Catskill Scenic Trail, Mount Yusea. And I mean, there's also the Northern Catskills if I do hiking there too. But uh, yeah, I don't know the next time I'll be out here, probably June or July. I mean, or probably July or August. Uh, I might do some hammock camping in uh, like uh, um, Dutch Settlement State Forest or Cotton Hill there. And um, I don't know. Uh, I seem to go to the gas up one day all by myself, spend all day at the gas up while do another the other weekend with my dad because he always likes to go and then um, I don't know I get up to uh, the potholers and uh, you know Pasico Pally in, in June or early July because it gets, it gets tough when I get into July August because now I have summer vacation but now I have all those responsibilities for work where they're gonna be wanting me to run more lists during the weekends and uh, so I got to camp places with good cell reception like around speculator or um, I mean, even out here is okay, but I don't know. Although here, this campsite here, my phone has not had good reception. Although I've had other phones that has been better. I think this phone's gotten worse too over time. Not only is the screen broken, it just generally is not working well. But I got about three years out of it for a $50 phone. I can't complain too much. Figure just, you know, enjoy things, get as much use out of, out of red as possible. I mean... Red is about 110 on him, and he's starting to get pretty rusty in parts. But I've had him for 13 years now, and I'm going to try to keep keep him running at least for another year. And uh, he's been pretty good, well running for the most part in the past couple of years. Once I got over the maintenance issues, wow, I've already been talking for 7 minutes and 40 seconds. Wow. Yeah, so uh, i got to take care of down. The black flies are now really starting to come out and bite. So... I don't want to get eaten alive, and I want to be out in the trail riding the Catskill Scenic Trail today. Well, have a great day, folks.